Hello everybody, we're going to talk about media, ethnicity and diaspora today. We will talk about diaspora first. It's a transnational flows of capital, global, political and cultural interpenetrations. And advanced transportation have made traveling, migration, exile and other forms of displacement common experiences of different groups of people worldwide. Racial difference in histories of human behavior, thought and discourse is now widely appear. Media constitutes such an interstitial zone for diasporic subjects. Majority media is controlled by white people, stereotypical media representations of minority group, concentrated majority prejudice and discrimination, then concentrated minority disadvantage and disaffection. It's a subordination cycle. My name is Canwin, and I play both the piano and the violin. I aspire to someday be a doctor, and my favorite subject is calculus. My mom and dad are tiger parents who won't let me go to sleepovers, but they make up for it by serving my favorite meal every single day, rice. And I'm a really bad driver. <laughs> so my question for you now is, how long did it take you to figure out I was joking? Unlike whites, whose ethnicity tends to be rendered invisible in Western countries by their majority status, the attitudes and behavior of ethnic minorities in the media are often in danger of being taken as representative of all those of their skin color, origin or religion. Bingo. Asians. You can't be serious. Never get behind people traveling with infants. Never seen a stroller collapse in less than 20 minutes. Old people are worse. Their bodies are littered with hidden metal, and they never seem to appreciate how little time they have left on Earth. There you go. Five words, randomly selected for additional screening. Asians. They pack light, travel efficiently, and they got a thing for slip-on shoes. God love them. That's racist. I'm like my mother. I stereotype. It's faster. Those stereotypes are all come from the media we contact every single day. It affects people, especially minority people's lives. Those people have to take the burden of representation. It has encouraged the development of a burden of representation on ethnic minorities in the media and the arts who, as a result of being isolated within predominantly white media institutions, found themselves expected to stand for their entire ethnic group. 